Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hi, Calvary, Amber here. Uh, we're continuing our look at the Sermon on the Mount in Matthew. And we're in chapter seven now, and Jesus makes a switch from addressing our personal temptations within us to addressing our interpersonal relationship between God and other people. And we're gonna be looking at verses one through five today. And they say, judge not that you be not judged. For with the judgment you pronounce, you will be judged. And with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. Why do you see the speck that is in your brother's eye, but do not notice the log that is in your own eye? Or how can you say to your brother, let me take the speck out of your eye when there is a log in your own eye? You hypocrite. First, take the log out of your own eye, and then you will see clearly to take the speck out of your brother's eye. See, we can see here that Jesus is giving us a warning. He is warning us about judging others and pronouncing condemnation on others before God. See, that is not our place. God is the perfect judge, and he is the one that will execute judgment. And so this is a heart check for us if are we acting in arrogance and pride, thinking that we can condemn other people and judge them harshly. And Jesus warns us that the measure that we use is gonna be measured back to us. And so if we are in a harsh judgmental place, like God's going to use that same heart attitude towards us. And so it's a warning to evaluate our own heart and where we're at. Are we acting in pride and arrogance and thinking we're better than other people? Or are we going to humble ourselves before God? But there's this tension here because Jesus doesn't prohibit all evaluation and correction of other people. He uses this hyperbole of the speck and the log in our eye. And see, we all have sin in our life, and that's what the, the wood is addressing. We all have sin in our life that we need to repent of. And so if we humble ourselves before God, if we acknowledge our sin, if we confess our sin to God, ask for forgiveness, and choose to repent and turn away from our sin and turn towards following God, then we are in a place of humility we are in a place of submission and surrender towards God. And then in, when we are in that place, we can have a loving, kind attitude, attitude toward other believers to say, hey, let me come beside you. I see you're hurting. I see you are struggling. Let me point you to Jesus and let me bring some accountability into your life. Um, see, we cannot change people. That's why we need to point them to Jesus because only Jesus can change people's hearts and their lives. But there's a difference in our heart and our attitude versus that person's wrong and condemning them versus, hey, I wanna help you and point you to Jesus. Um, and, and I'm talking to myself here too, because I know my natural tendency is just want to see people's flaws and be like, they're wrong, uh, and think I'm better. And that's sin. And, and I need to, uh, repent of that as well. And so this is a heart check for us of, are we going to stand in a place where we think we're better than other people and we can act as judge? Uh, and pretend that we're God when we're not? Or are we going to humble ourselves before God, ask him to reveal in us any sin that's in there so that we can confess it and repent of it and turn and to follow him more closely every day. I hope this is encouraging for you. Have a great day.